Hello everyone. It's Amanda Bach from Bach Star Stamping. I am there I am on the iPad just making sure I can pull up comments that way I can see everybody. So when you pop on please be sure to say hello so I can say hello back to you. Tonight um I'm going to call this a smorgasbord of crafting. There we go. I got a little bit of everything tonight. First of all, um, I am Amanda Bach from Boxstar Stamping. I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in the United States. Um, if you would like to purchase any of these products or any Stamping Up products, please go to stampingup.com. Be sure to select me as your demonstrator. And if your order is under $150, please use this host code. All righty. Let's start with step one. I ordered some new stuff and I wanted to show it to you. This is part of the Fitting Florets collection that is available now for demonstrators to pre-order. Um, this beautiful paper is available to customers beginning November 1st. And I also have more of it. Let me show you. Then there is a stamp set that is available. These two items in the collection are available while supplies last. Okay. So... Hey, Betty, let me show you this beautiful paper. Okay, let me actually, hold on. I don't remember its name. Fitting, there we go. It's called Fitting Florets. What do you know? Okay, so this is the that side and that side. Again, this is available to customers November 1st, and this paper is while supplies last. All right, so there's the A side and the B side. This one is probably my favorite side. I haven't even used this paper yet, I just opened it. Got some soft succulent, night of navy, balmy blue. Ooh. All right, and one more. Ooh, I love this one. Oh, no, two more. Ooh, love that polished pink in there. Is this is available to demonstrators now and customers November 1st. Ooh, they got some gingham in the evening evergreen. So let's see what all the colors are. Um, let's see here. Balmy blue, blushing bride. Ooh, I was wrong. It wasn't. Oh, no, it was polished pink. Crushed curry, evening evergreen, night of navy, polished pink, and soft succulent. Mm. Um, so I could only order one pack right now until um, November 1st, and then I can order as many as I want. I would highly suggest if you like this paper on November 1st, place your order, um, because I bet that paper is going to go. All right, and again, this is another stamp set in the um, Fitting Florets collection geared toward Christmas, and it is also available while supplies last, along with some little gold embellishments. The other items in that collection are available um, and will be available in the catalog. The upcoming catalog. Okay, some news. Stamping Up refreshed their clearance rack. So remember a while ago, I showed you this beautiful folio and this beautiful paper, and I was so mad that I didn't have another one? Well, guess what I did? Yeah, I ordered some more because it's currently on in the clearance rack along with some beautiful, lots of beautiful papers. I couldn't believe the amount of papers that were in the clearance rack. So this is um, a set I made a while back. Um, I think it's $6 for the paper. So if you liked this paper and you missed it like I did, uh, grab it before it's gone. Clearance rack, of course, is while supplies last. Okay, remember, I said this was going to be a smorgasbord of ideas tonight. Here's my next idea. I don't know if you saw these in the current mini catalog. They're called Pearlized Enamel Effects Basics. And you can basically add your own embellishments. So I wanted to show you what I did today. I just experimented. Now, you can be brave and add these on your card directly. But you know what? I've, I've been practicing, and sometimes I don't do it perfectly. So I decided on this. Um, this is just an empty die case. I made some small dots and some big dots. And as you can see there, that one's messed up because I tried to peel it off before it was completely dry. I did this around two o'clock. So that was about five hours ago. So it's had plenty of time to dry. So I can pop these off now and put a glue dot on the back of it or a little, a little drop of glue and stick it to my project. Okay, 
These bigger ones come off too, okay? Glue dot would definitely fit on that one. Or if you have the take your pick tool, the spatula part would, would pick them up very well as well. Um, so I'm gonna be making my own little enamel dots. I'm just gonna line this puppy and just let it dry overnight and then I can have my own. Now, here's the thing. I have seen people mixing the white with our reinkers to create, hello Vesta, to create your own colors too. So, you have two options with this product. You can, you know, dot it directly on your project, which, you know, in case it doesn't go well, you know, you gotta be brave doing that. Um, and then you can't touch it. You gotta leave it alone, because uh, it is liquid or do what I did and put it on some scrap of plastic and then let it dry and then you can pop them off and use them just like our other dots embellishments. So there's an idea. Okay, so this is a smorgasbord. Here we go, next item of business. I got my paper pumpkin today and I can't wait to put this one together. And you know what? I'm for sure this one is getting put together because I'm having some friends over on Sunday and we're putting our kits together. So I can't wait. All right, so this beautiful, well, nah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, I love it. It's got Santa, that'll be fun and easy to color. Snowflakes, Holly Jolly, Santa Claus is coming to town. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, tis the season to be jolly. So lots of great stamps that I can reuse later in my Christmas cards after I've used the kit up. You get a stamping spot. It tells you that this kit coordinates with next month's kit. So I'm looking forward to that. And then here are your directions, which, you know what, honestly, I look at the directions and then I usually make up my own. Okay, these awesome die cuts. Can't wait to use those. These snowflakes. <gasps> I would love to get 8,000 more of these, right? Oh, love that. Love how shiny that is. This is just the piece of cardboard that it comes on. Um, some die cuts. Love the envelopes. That's what I also love about Paper Pumpkin is the envelopes are always pretty. And you know what? You can use these envelopes to make more cards too. Yep, a lot of people do that. Always comes with whatever glue dots you need. Card bases. Look at these. You know what I'm thinking about doing with these? Turning them over and using one of them as a mask. Mm-hmm. Thinking about using that as a mask. Yep, pretty much gonna do that one. All right, some more pieces, some vellum, more card bases, and then um, some little dots. Hey, I can make those myself, right? With the pearlized enamel dots effects per basics. Mm, I think I said it. So I got that idea. Well, I've been messing with them for a while, but today I watched a video, and I'm gonna link it in the description below after this video is over, um, to Matoso Crafts. Um, Jay was playing around with them and made some awesome ones. So that got me messing around. I was like, wait a second. So I made a bunch. Okay, so that's the paper pumpkin. I'm going to be putting that together Sunday with some of my friends. Looking forward to that. All right. Whew. One more item of business before we get to tonight's project. So, <coughs> oh, sorry. Okay, I love paper pumpkin. And generally, I put together my kits at least one of each card. But then sometimes I don't, or I have just like a little bit left. So this was the very first paper pumpkin kit I got for free when I became a demonstrator in January of 2019. They give you a past kit for free. And I had made everything, except I had a few of these little green vellum pieces left. And I am determined to go through all my paper pumpkins and use every single piece. So. I only had like nine of them left. So I came up with this. These were in um, Lemon Lime Twist, which is a retired color, but I still had like four sheets left of it. So I used it as a matte layer. And I recently got some of this paper. Somebody gave me a whole bunch of beautiful paper. Um, so I used it. And then on the inside, I uh, put a strip of that paper and stamped in Lemon Lime Twist. So I used up all of these little pieces and I got four cards out of it. So yay. So now I can officially say I am done with this paper pumpkin kit. Phew. Okay, the first paper pumpkin I signed up for was May 2019 and it was Shelly, Shelly the founder of Stamping Up. 
she put together this kit. And I made almost all the cards, except a few. And I had three of these left. I had three of these pink ones left. So I just, I put it together real quick. And I added some stuff on the inside with the petal pink. I, the card bases in, in Paper Pumpkin are not as thick as I normally use. So I like to make the inside a little firmer. And this is in very vanilla and petal pink. Okay, and then I had, if you look here, there's a feather, right? I had a feather and a flower left. That was it. So I came up with this one in Pretty Peacock. Um, this, this beautiful foiled paper was, of course, it's all retired because this is a retired color, but I just came up with that. Um, and then on the inside, wish you knew every happiness a special day will bring. That's from Peaceful Moments, which is current. Um, I love to use my old products because I'm trying to, you know, I'm using my stash and I want you to do the same. Use your stash. I've got lots of this paper left. So anytime I get a chance to use it, I do. So now I am officially done with this paper pumpkin. Yay. All right. My next one. If you like these, this one is currently in our kits collection. Um, when Stamping Up, uh, like a year and a half ago, started bringing out the kits, they brought back some favorite paper pumpkin kits to start with. Thank you, Betty. So this was one that I had had still as a paper pumpkin kit, and I had made several of them, but I had a bunch left. So I came up with four designs, but I did basically use them. They're small cards. I mean, they were like this little, and then they came with these little envelopes, and you can't mail that. So I made them bigger. So the first one I did was this one. So this is how small the cards were, but I just cut off the front and made it into a bigger card. Okay, may your birthday be memorable. Rest and relax, you deserve it. I figured that was tropical. Maybe someone's going on vacation for their birthday or something. All righty, next. Using up lots of retired products. These are my favorite embellishments ever in Coastal Cabana. All right, and then I decided to bring out my basket weave embossing folder in crumb cake. And I glued one of the um, die cut palm trees on the inside. And then this one. All right, what I put on the inside. There we go, and I stamped some palm trees on that one. Okay, so after I was all done, I had a ton of these left. Tons of these little leaf thingies. So I decided to make a wreath with them. Okay, and here's how I did that. I just used um, a two inch punch and a two and a quarter inch punch, circle punch, to make a little frame to glue them to. And I made a wreath. Actually, I made three wreaths. And then I came up with some sort of a design. I am not done with this yet. I am still very much still playing with it. Um, but I just want to show you. I'll uh, check my Facebook page out later and I may finish it. So I used the a Fish and a Wish uh, fishes. They're so cute. And then I used the Retired Seabed Embossing Folder, which I just love that embossing folder. And I put some of the elements on there. I lightly sponged this coral with Calypso Coral just to give it a little color difference with all the white going on there. Um, it still needs a little something for me. I don't know what yet, so I'm not, I'm not done. I'm not gonna say I'm done with this card yet, but I don't hate it. Okay, so still working on that one. All right, now to today's project. Okay, so. As part of the kits collection, Stamping Up has come up with a birthday card organizer kit. And I've already kind of taken it apart a little bit. Um, it comes with everything you need to make 12 birthday cards. And it is a non-stamping kit if you wish to not stamp. Everything has stickers, okay? And you'll notice it's in four languages. Okay, we've got our English, our German, our French, and I believe this is Dutch. Okay, so what I'm going to do with the French and the German is I'm going to send these to my with my son, and he can give them to the German and the French teacher, and maybe they can use them. All right, so lots of stickers, some die cuts. I'm just going to make one of each card tonight. That's what I'm planning on doing. Ah, here's the directions. Oop, 
I folded them in the wrong way. Do, do, do. There we go. So there's only two cards. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is to make these. And then you've got 12 cards ready to go. And I also want to show you the birthday organizer because I have already started writing in mine and getting organized. I love it. So let me show you the birthday organizer. It is so pretty. It is that Abigail Rose paper, which is in the um, annual catalog, which is people are just loving. Okay, so when you open it, you've got a pocket here. You could put stamps stuff there. So, so far I've got two birthdays in January. I know there's more, I just haven't. I've got my husband's family to still put in here. So, Betty, you're not in here yet, you're gonna be. I was just going through like my cousins and stuff and my friends and I'm gonna go through my, um, my in-laws probably later on. So I've got some March people and look, I already knew that I had made a card for one of these people, so I stuck it in there. So it's ready to go for March. I am way ahead of the game. Here's a couple for May. Here's one for April. I've got them stuck in there that I know I had made one. Here's an anniversary card for my husband. I am already ready and our anniversary is not till June. Wow, way ahead of the game. So you just put the stickers on. Um, you can, and then there's another one back here. Maybe that's where I'm gonna put my extra cards that I'm gonna make using the kit. I'll probably put them back there. All right, look at that. My grandma's birthday, Christmas day. She'll be 96. Ooh. 96. All right, so this is a beautiful notebook. Now, let's say you don't want it for birthdays. That's fine. You could use this for anything. You could, if you don't want these numbers here, this sticker wasn't there. So you could put a pretty piece of designer series paper over the front and just make this your like collection notebook of things you want to collect. I could put my name is Amanda there, but I won't. Okay, you could even decorate the front. I've seen people coloring this in more with their blends. And it looks beautiful. I'm going to leave mine just the way it is. I love it. And it's unique. And I don't have any other notebook like this. So I know exactly what this is. All right. Well, let's get started. I'm going to sit. So if I sound different, that's why. All right. So I hope everyone's doing good tonight. <sighs> We've got a busy weekend. My son's final marching band high school game is Friday. So it's senior night. So I get to walk out on the field with him. And then Saturday is the big marching band of the state competition. So I'll be up at like five in the morning driving to go to that. Hopefully they do good or do well. That would be proper English, wouldn't it? All right, so I'm gonna set the envelopes aside. I'm gonna get one of each of the card bases. So there's that one. Ooh, I already have an idea. Okay, you know how I said I usually make one as, as you know they suggest and then I go rogue? Yeah, so this is beautiful. And I will probably cut this in half and use this as two cards. And then I will mount this on, um, I believe that's soft succulent, but let me look. On the back of each of the kits, it tells you what the coordinating colors are. And these are basic black, evening evergreen, petal pink, Sahara sand, and soft succulent. So I will probably cut that in half for my next one and get more than one card out of it. All right, so I've got that. Let's see here. I'm gonna have my picture in front of me so I know what I'm doing. All right, so it looks like for this one, I'm going to need, well, I might as well just pop all these out. Looks like I'm gonna need them all. All right, so that one goes with that one. I do love this Abigail Rose Sweet collection. It's in the annual catalog. I don't own it yet, but um, I'm probably gonna get it real soon. There's so many beautiful projects I see people creating with it that I know I could make some pretty things with it as well. So this is a no stamping kit. So it's really easy if you want to make with kids because there's no stamping. You just pop the die cuts out, you use the glue dots, and you put it down. All right, don't need that. Here we go. It looks like I need one of these. Oh, I'm doing it backwards, aren't I? That's fine. And I need some stickers. Okay, I'm ready to assemble. It's that easy. So I'm gonna get my bone folder. There we go, oh, come on. Okay, there's my bone folder. Go ahead and give it a good crease. I will start with this one first. So it looks like I need that. I like to assemble them before I assemble them, if you will, you know, so I know what I'm doing. 
Looks like that one's there-ish. That one is there-ish. There-ish. And over the top. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my glue dots. And instead of using the ones that come with the kit, because um, two reasons. I don't know where I put them. They're somewhere over here. Um, but I also like the ones on the roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a glue dot on here and put it there. Okay, so I'm going to attach it to this first. So when I pop it up on dimensionals, it looks very nice. Okay, so it's going to go like this. I'm going to put this here. Now, if I wanted to, I could color these in more. I, I could color this with my blends. Um, and I probably will in future cards just to see what it looks like. But for right now, I am doing it as close to these directions as I can. Um, mine is not using their glue dots. I'm using my own. Okay. And I'm also going to use glue instead of glue dots to glue things down because I like it better than glue dots. So I get my glue, which I realized I'm running low on. So, and actually this is my last roll of glue dots too. Ah, I got to get some more. Got to get some more because I, you know, green glue is my favorite adhesive, but I do use a lot of glue dots for, you know, stuff like this, putting it all together. Okay. Then I'm going to put it like this. Hmm. I don't want any dimensionals in the middle, I don't think, because then there'll be different levels of, hmm. Let's see here, I'm gonna flip it over and try to keep it, see what I mean? I'll try to keep it not over the brown. Does that make sense? You know what, and I've already got some dimensionals open, I'll just use these. Uh, we'll just use these real quick, and I'm gonna put a lot of them on there. Oh, good, that fits. All right, so um, for the month of October, if you place an order with me over $50, I will send you a pack of, dim uh, not dimensionals, of embellishments or gems. Um, and check out my video from a few weeks ago of me making the um, thank you gifts for September, which I know Betty still hasn't received hers yet, and I don't know why. Um, I'm just probably going to send you another one, Betty. Okay. There we go. Okay. I love this. I love this. And this one goes with it's your day. You know what? This doesn't even have to be birthday. It's your day. Maybe it's their day they're graduating. Maybe it's their wedding day. Maybe it's some other special day. And I'm going to tuck it in a little bit like they did. Look at that. A beautiful card. Now I need to use the lovely embellishments they also include. Oh, there's the glue dots. That's why I didn't find them. They were in there. Oh, well. Ooh, these are so pretty. They're picking up all kinds of different colors. Ooh. All right. I like my pokey tool. I love it. And I, I had two. I don't know where my other one is. And I'm kind of panicked about that because it, I hope I didn't throw it away. Um, I don't know where it went. All right, now let's see, how many do they use? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I bet they used seven. I'm gonna open up the directions. Let's see here. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Really? They usually do odd numbers. That's fine. One, two, yeah, they're only showing six. Okay, okay. That's fine. I will do six. I, you know what? It's my card. I can do whatever I want. All right. Which is why I generally don't always follow the directions on the card kits. I kind of make up my own. Okay. There we go. That is card number one done according to their directions. Now, you better believe I'm going to put something in the middle. And because the paper pumpkin card bases are a little thinner than I'm used to and I like, what I will probably do is I will put a matte layer of soft succulent and then a piece of basic white and stamp on that something. Probably that has a flower on it. All right, but I do think that is a pretty card. And I also like that this is a no stamp kit. So that means everyone can do this. 
Okay, and everything you need is included. All right, card number two. Let's see what we've got going on here. Okay, oh, I love these polka dots. All right. Looks like I need to put the polka dot black one down first. So I'm gonna do a dry run first. Okay, that'll be easy enough. All right, especially if I'm using green glue, I can wiggle it. And then they're gonna have me do this. Ah, well that was easy. Okay. That was easy. Okay, well, especially if you know someone who likes polka dots. Yeah, this is right up their alley, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna put it like this. I'm gonna press down, but not a lot, so that I can still wiggle. So I'm gonna line it up to the edge and push it out just a little bit, make sure it's even with the edge. Check the top and the bottom. It's just a little high there. That's what I love about green glue. And now, once I'm confident it's where I want it, then I give it a good press. All right. Zoop. There we go. Again, you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot. A lot of people struggle with green glue. Um, you just work on putting the least amount possible down, really. Okay, I'm gonna make sure, yep, it's like I want it, and give it a good press. Well, that was super easy. All right, here's my stickers. Happiest birthday. Hi, Liebste Wünsche zum Geburtstag. Yeah, I did actually take German and actually went to Germany, but, um, yeah. Love wishes on your birthday, I think is what that literally translates to. Mm -hmm. All right. And the sticker, they want to go here-ish. Now, let's say you wanted to pop this puppy up on dimensionals. You totally could. But... I would put it on a piece of cardstock first so the sticker is not sticky anymore, um, that it's stuck to the cardstock. Otherwise, if you put dimensionals on and it gets squeezed, the sticker is still going to adhere and you're gonna have a mess. So, all right, let's see. They put two here. Super easy card kit. And you get a birthday organizer, which I love. I opened it and I was like, yes, this is exactly what I need. I do give out a lot of birthday cards and I do have them already through December already done and stuff. Um, but those aren't like my personal ones to family and friends. Um, it's on a birthday mailing list that I'm on, which I absolutely love doing. So I have them. Well, I'll show you in a second. Um, so that's that one. Of course, you know, I'm not going to leave this like it is. Probably I'm going to use this evening evergreen. I will probably put a matte layer of evening evergreen and then a basic white insert and have some fun with that. And I do have some stamps that are polka dots. So I'll probably